This is Java. She's a four-year-old German short hair pointer, and she's a really hard working bird dog. And you know, there's times in the field when she may need an energy boost, and I like to give her some form of quick energy uh, dog supplement, an energy bar, so to speak. And the best energy source, from my understanding, for dogs in the field is fat, because fat is absorbed uh, and metabolized a lot faster than protein or carbohydrates. Now, there are some really good commercially available uh, energy bars, and I'm not knocking those, but sometimes I like to do things my own way and try to make my own. And if you're interested in learning how to make your own energy bars for your dog, then keep watching, because I'm going to explain what I do. And I'll show you the process that I go through. It's pretty simple. Um, all you'll need is some canned dog food. And the one that I have chose, and this is not a paid endorsement at all, it's a pills prescription diet. And this would happen to be the Urgent Care AD. Now, the important thing is, whatever type of canned food you choose, make sure it's the loaf kind, so that when you take it out of the can, it's one solid piece, and not the kind that's chunks and gravy and things, because it won't hold together. The reason I chose this particular product, because from the research I did, it's the highest fat content of any canned dog food I could find. It's 32% uh, fat, it's also 44% protein, which, which is good to, to have. Uh, so that's why I chose this one, high fat content. But whatever canned dog food you choose, uh, that's up to you. So I'm going to go through the processes here of uh, how to do this. All you need really is your food, a dehydrator, or an oven. So stay tuned and uh, We'll see how they turn out. Okay, so here's a process that works for me. Again, I'm using uh, Hills Prescription Dye and Urgent Care AD. Comes in a, a five and a half ounce can. Crack it open. So as you can see, it's like a loaf type product. It's pretty soft. I often wonder maybe putting it in the refrigerator for a few hours might help, but. And I divide it into about three equal parts or thereabouts. Now this gets a little messy, but hey, we're doing this for our hunting companion, right? She's down here underneath the camera licking her chops already. And I just make, you can make whatever shape you want. You can do wafers. You can roll it into a log. Really doesn't matter. Just remember the thicker you make it, the longer it's going to take to completely dehydrate. We'll do another wafer here. Just like that. Then pop it into your oven or your dehydrator have a dehydrator over here and I set it for what they recommend the jerky settings about 145 degrees and it depending on whether you do it inside or out the humidity the air it may take three to six hours just keep checking it until it's you feel that they're pretty uh, well done if you have an oven, I would probably say 150 degrees thereabouts. Now I have ones in here that I started earlier. And they're still pretty warm, but
these are ones I started earlier and they're pretty pretty hard this one on the bottom is still a little bit soft so it has some moisture in it I would want to get that out so to reduce the risk of any uh, mold forming so I'll probably put that one back in for a few more minutes and let's see if we can get pup up here for a seal of approval Java come here up up good girl okay Java no let's not lick the can okay too many sharp things there here Java what do you think of that hmm pretty darn good wasn't it yeah good girl you like those huh okay it's pretty pretty quick and easy I don't know how quick but it's pretty easy you just pop them in a ziploc bag and uh, tank about in the field. Oh, here, you want more? Huh? There, there you go. Good girl.